Okay, morning guys. I'm going to be very quick because uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time talking about Agile. A um, little bit about me. So my name is Gerard Beckleg, Solution Architect at SSW. But the thing that's probably important that I want to get across to you here is that we do, I'm the mentor at the Fire Boot Camp. Okay, and Fire Boot Camp is something that we're really proud of at SSW, and this is a, a nine-week intensive .NET training program where you get to build a real-world real product over nine weeks and you're using all the latest technologies and also wrapped up in using uh, the, an agile process. So you get to learn about agile, you get to learn about building products, and you get to learn about using the latest .NET technologies from all the lessons that we've learned over the years. So this is really good for people who are just out of university and want to get that um, sort of step up, because I know when you go to interviews, people are telling you you don't have any experience. So you can, you can say, oh, okay, I've got nine weeks experience building a product. And alternatively, the other types of people that we get on here are normally contractors who their skill sets have become a bit outdated and they want to just, you know, refresh and learn some new, new things in a really short space of time. So I wanted to highlight that to you. So one of the things that we do in boot camp is we, we teach Agile. So I thought, okay, maybe what I can do today is I can give you a really brief, take out the best parts of the Agile, give them to you, because pretty soon in maybe a couple of hours, you're going to join your own teams. And maybe you can put some of these hacks into your projects that you're going to join. So my challenge then is for you guys to, um, to listen to these lightweight, lightweight processes. So I'm just going to bring up four of them. Join a team. So at the end of the day, at the end of, so in a couple of hours, you're gonna, there's going to be a couple of teams for you to choose from. Join a team. And then if you can, try and apply one, a few, or all of these, pros, all of these hacks to the team that you're joining, and then see, see what happens, OK? So we're just going just gonna to cover four. OK, so the first one, begin with the end in mind. So I see a lot of teams that they start off without setting a clear goal of where they want to go. And then without having a clear goal, you then drift off into s one guy does this, one guy does this, and then you're all going off in your own different directions. So what I want you to do is when you start your, your team, make sure you set your goal really clear. So a really good way that I find to do this is you've probably all seen these product landing pages when you go out on the internet. And you've probably all used the Twitter bootstrap, and it gives you a, a landing page similar to this. And these are a really good way for you to think about your project. And the one that I've chosen here is HipChat. And the reason that these are good is it, it, it highlights a good way to structure and to think about building products. So what we have here at the top is we have your goal. So in this situation, it's HipChat. And their, their goal is to bring your team to life through group private chat file sharing. So they've constantly got that goal that they can refer to when they're building their product. They also have their epics, okay? So these are the big high level features that help them achieve the goal, okay? And then inside the epics, they then have their features, okay? So it's really interesting to think about a product in this way and to, to create, sometimes you obviously you're not gonna have time today, but in real life to create a product page like this so you can, you can think about where you're going and you can think about what you're building and then you can constantly refer back to this and make sure you're going on the right path. So hack number one, set a goal, break the goal down into epics, and then break the epics into features. And then you're just going to call this your backlog. OK. So the next hack, time boxing. So it's very easy, especially on a day like today, we've, we've not got much time. It's very easy for people to go off in all different directions and then for and to sort of lose track of time. And before you know it, you've got to the end of the day and you've not really achieved anything and the team's all going in one direction. So if we can have one goal, then the next hack for you is to then work out how much time you have and split your time into small little boxes. Okay? That way then you can, it makes you more aware of the, um, it will sort of raise your awareness of time and allow you to work in smaller chunks rather than one big chunk. Okay? So the next hack, 
It's very slow, this, to respond. Work out how much time you have available. Dead easy. Divide this into time boxes, and then call these your sprints. OK. Next one. So in preparing for battle, I have always found that plans are useless, useless but planning is indispensable. So this is a really interesting point, because normally when people start Agile, they want to get going as soon as possible. And they think that if we do Agile, it means we don't have to think about the planning stage. And it's true that the plans are useless, but the actual creating of the plan is a really beneficial process. So when you sit down and you think, OK, what do I have to do first? Then what do I have to do? Then what do I have to do? That actual process of thinking about what you're going to do before you actually set out and build it is really, really valuable. So this is, I got the, the idea for this also comes from in financial planning and stuff like that. So financial people will make forecasts. And these forecasts are relatively useless because who can predict the future of the economy? And if you could predict the future of the economy, you would be a multimillionaire you know, if everybody could do it. So the actual process of trying to forecast is as useful as the actual forecast themselves. So hack three, set a small goal that will move you towards your main goal. Make a plan to achieve this goal in the sprint using some items from your backlog. So take a few items from your backlog, make a plan about how that's going to move you towards your main goal. And then we can just call this li list your sprint backlog. Easy. OK. So here's the hard part, executing the plan. But this is the easy thing. So just hack away. So take your time box, create your plan, have a few items in your plan, then hack away. When your timer finishes, you stop. So set a timer, execute your plan, stop when it finishes. OK. So no battle plan survives contact with the enemy. It's a very famous phrase. So we, take, we spend this time to create this plan. Then we execute the plan, and we realize that nothing went to plan. You know, we couldn't install Xamarin properly, or you know, this widget didn't work the way that we wanted it to. So this is the important part then, is that we then reevaluate what we did, okay, and then make uh, an effort to change the next time box according to what we've learned from the previous time box. Okay, so hack number four, inspect and adapt. So work out what went well the time before, keep doing more of that, okay? Work out what you can improve on the next sprint. And then there we go, just rinse and repeat that process. So I was gonna say really lightweight process. And basically what you've done there is the basic core of Scrum, okay? In a very, very small way, okay? And I think that this will help you as self-organizing teams, because it's a very lightweight process that I've given you that you can apply to a group of individuals to help you meet your goal, okay, and then allow you to adapt to meet that goal. So if you want, there's some, obviously this is a small version of Scrum, okay? At SSW, we do, we've do. we been doing Scrum since its, it's <coughs> inception, and we've got lots of experience in it. We also do a lot of training with Scrum. We've got the posters available over there, or you can get the posters online. If you text this number, I think, yeah. So if you, want the, if you want these slides and you want the poster and some information about uh, the Fire Boot Camp, you can just text this number. It will send you back a message with a link that you can then just download. I think it's on OneDrive, so you can download it when you get home, OK? So there we go. Thank you. That's it. I didn't, said I didn't want to take up much of your time, OK? Mm -hmm.